Hello there, this is Tim. I am back for another video comparing iOS 1 versus iOS 5. Before you in this video is an original iPhone running iOS 1.0.2 and an iPhone 4S running iOS 5.1. Today's video will demonstrate the calendar application, how it has changed, and how things have evolved over the years with this calendar application. So the biggest change most notice, noticeably is, uh, so here it says Wednesday. Here it says Wednesday in Hawaiian. Something to note, there is no international support in the original iOS, so that is something brand new to this, 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 uh, this iPhone here uh, that is not present on the original iPhone. The icon otherwise is exactly the same. Let's launch these apps up to show you what it looks like. Let's go into the month mode as the default. Let's go there. And let's first go to today. So let's hit today. In the original iPhone, it's up at the top left. The other iPhone, bottom left. So something to note, the international support is present. You'll see five calendars in this calendar icon at the top here. That is something new. You're able to have subscribe calendars, other calendars, and things from iCloud, and you're able to show all calendars. Something that was present in the original iPhone was USB syncing. That was the only way to get calendars onto your iPhone back in the day. USB sync through iTunes. It was sad, and that was the only way that it could be done. So we just take for granted this ability for push messages, push calendars, things like that. That is something pretty awesome that we have today. The plus icon is exactly the same place on both applications. You'll notice the difference here. Title location, it is present in one blank here, split off in two blanks there, so you're able to choose which one you want to enter. Here you just press it, and then it's another tap. So Apple eliminated a single tap here. You have a, a one more tap with this guy here, or the original iPhone, to get to what you want, versus just going straight to it on this one. So you have one more tap, one more level of UI. So this is a good change that they got rid of there. Another change, time zone support. You're able to make events time zone specific in the new OS. That's not present there. Also present is repeat. That's exactly the same. The same for alert. Exact same there. Same options as well. On the newer iPhones, you have second alert. You also have the ability for multiple calendars, and that's present here for choosing your calendar. You also have the availability option there. And you're actually able to invite people. You're invite, able to invite people with this new OS. And you're able, besides notes, which takes you, once again, into another level of UI, you're able to just type it out right there. You also have the ability to add a URL right there in this note. So that is something new with the adding event. So right across the top here, you'll see the march. And this type, type Malachi is the march in Hawaiian. And there you go. Something to note. Apple did it right with the day dot indicators. You can see dots under these different days here. Every day with a dot has something on that event. If I move away from that, you'll see today's date is in gray. The date I've selected is in blue. That has not changed at all. Uh, as I move down towards the bottom here, you will see that there is a menu bar at the bottom of the new one. That's not present in the old one. On the menu bar, you have list, day, month. That is from the top there where you have this new UI stuff there. And this thing here is for invitations. That is new. Also present here, uh, let's move on to day. If I move the day, you'll see very similar interface. If I move to the bottom of the day, uh, nothing big there, and just overall very similar. One noticeable change is gesture interface. If I try to swipe, nothing happens. Swiping on this guy, on the new iPhone, you're able to swipe through the days. That is something not present on the old one, that is on the new one. So gesture interface is big, it is new and on this one. Uh, something else to note, uh, I'm now in list view, pretty much identical here, uh, pretty much all day, uh, there we go. And if the, the cool thing is to compare, if I go to the end of the list here, if I hit today, it brings me right to today. So let's scroll down today. It'll bring me up kind of slowly through there. Fit today. The first time it actually just brings you right to it. Just 
once again, it will slowly bring you up. So that interface has remained. The other big change, horizontal view. The new iPhone has horizontal mode. This is not present in the original iPhone. You're able to horizontally look at your day, your week, and move through your week with gestures. So horizontal mode is present here. You're able to go through your entire calendar, horizontal mode, and see what's up. So let's go back to uh, month view, sit today. And now let's do this. So this is the 15th. Then you can just go through your weeks. It'll have a big bar there when that has changed. So that is horizontal view. That is new in the calendars app. And that is calendars compared iOS 1 versus iOS 5. I hope you've enjoyed this video comparing the two OS's, how it's evolved over the years. The calendar app has changed quite a bit, and I hope you've learned something here in this video. You can find more videos on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash T-C-H-A-T-E-N, and make sure to follow my daily podcast that is found at iwakepodcast.com, where I cover Apple news every day. This is Tim signing off. Aloha.